Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. And today I want to talk about how do narcissists test you, okay? And they will always test you. A narcissist is a studier and especially a covert narcissist. They're going to study your reaction to things. They're going to see how upset you get when they break your boundaries. So what are examples of this? In other words, let's say you text the narcissist and they don't respond to you right away, or they're supposed to call you and they don't call you. Your reaction is going to show the narcissist how much you care, how angry you get, okay? And how much you hold them accountable. Now, if you just let it go, you keep letting things go, letting things go, that narcissist knows that they can keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and they will keep pushing. They will keep moving that goal goalpost further and further to see how much they can get away with. So it starts by them not responding to you right away, okay? They also, another thing that they do to test you is they don't validate you. In other words, let's say you're having a conversation with the narcissist and you're asking them you know, their opinion on something and they really don't, you know, answer your question or they don't validate what you're saying. If you just kind of let these things go, let these things go, they feel like, you know what, they don't have to put work into the relationship. They don't have to, you know, respect you or anything like that. They could do what they want. So how much you allow is how much you get back from that narcissist. See, narcissists know when they push too far. They, they, they know who they can push and who they can't push. So it also depends on the narcissist that you're dealing with. Some narcissists won't respect anybody's boundaries, okay? And they just, they jump from one supply to another supply to another supply because nobody's going to put up with them because they're so, you know, outlandish. But some narcissists, they're going to test you so they could see if they could cheat on you as well. So how do they do that? They do that by disappearing now and then, okay? Like they may not call you all night long and they see your reaction the next day. Are you gonna be yelling and screaming and be really irate? Or are you gonna just say something and let it go? Or are you gonna say nothing? Your response is gonna tell that narcissist how much they can get away with and how they can't. When you put up a strong boundary and you're like, listen, you ever do that again, I'm not gonna be here. That narcissist knows that they can't play with you, but you have to follow through. See, the problem with a lot of people is they don't follow through. They they sit there and they say, oh, I told that I told him off or I told her off, but then they're still there and the narcissist is still doing what they're doing. You're not following through with your boundaries. So the narcissist knows they could do whatever they want. And so big deal. So you, you start yelling or something like that. You're not leaving them. That's the bottom line. The fact that you're not walking away tells that narcissist that they could do whatever they want to do to you. And, and you're going to, you know, they may not want to hear your mouth. And in that case, what they do is they disappear again. They start a fight with you to get out again because they don't want to hear it. Okay. They don't want to be held accountable, but they will also test you too, because a lot of them will, you know, they'll want to know about what happened in your prior relationships. And why is that? Because this way they know that if the last guy or girl cheated on you or, or treated you like crap or stole from you or took advantage of you, that narcissist knows that they could do it to you as well, okay? This is why I tell you, and so many people do this, they, they meet somebody, the narcissist is super duper nice charming. They think that they're sincere and they're authentic. And maybe the narcissist, you know, tries to fool them by telling them uh, a sob story or something like that. So now what do you do? You go and open up yourself to that narcissist and you tell them a sob story about how your ex did you dirty, right? And the narcissist is going to pretend to be so sympathetic. Oh, how could anybody do that to you? You're such a wonderful person and everything like that. But in the back of that narcissist's mind, they're looking at you like you're a fool. You let somebody get over on you. You're a dope. 
So you know what? If the last guy or girl cheated on you, I can too, all right? Because narcissists don't have empathy. So they pretend to have empathy. And this is what fools people time and time again. Just because somebody is nice at times doesn't mean that they're an overall nice person. You've got to look at the motive. And in the beginning of a relationship, the motive of that narcissist is to earn your trust, is to win you over. Now, one of the things I want to make you guys aware of is this. A lot of times when you deal with these narcissists, they kind of give themselves up because they'll say something to the effect of, oh, you know, you're so innocent or, you know, it's so cute. You're so naive or something like that. And you're saying to yourself, they think I'm innocent. They think I'm naive. That is a narcissist that is trying to that figures that they could get over on you. They've been watching you. They've been listening to you and they slip up and they tell you what's on their mind. Now, anybody who thinks of you in that manner, that you're innocent, oh, you're so innocent. Oh, you're so naive. That's somebody that is trying to get over. Okay. They have sized you up and they feel like, you know what? You don't know the game. That's why you're so innocent and naive, okay? So anybody says that to you, watch out for them. Believe me, I know, because I have been through this. And, you know, I've had one or two people say that to me years ago. Oh, you're so innocent. Oh, you're so naive. And I'm like, I'm like, why would anybody say something like that to me? And then later on, later on, I found out they were the most crooked person you ever met in your life because they were sizing me up and trying to figure out how they could get over on me. So, you know, the thing is, when you deal with a narcissist, you don't want to tell them too many personal details about yourself. You've got to play stupid, okay? Because if you if you show them that you're really smart and you're really slick and, you know, nobody gets over on you or something like that, and this is a mistake that a lot of people do. They'll say, you know, nobody's ever going to get over on me and blah, blah, blah. I know the game and everything like that. You're giving that person a heads up to manipulate you even better. You're letting that person know that you know the game. So they figure, okay, she knows the game, but you know what? I'm going to manipulate her even better because I'm going to love bomb her smoother. I'm not going to come on too strong but just a little bit so that she thinks it's authentic. So this is why I tell you, don't say these things, you guys, okay? Don't say these things. You know, when you deal with a narcissist, keep the conversation on the surface for yourself and try to get the information out of them. Don't give them personal details about yourself, okay? Because they will use it against you. And especially if things go awry in the relationship or something, this is the first thing they're going to do is bring up some secret you told them or something like that. So like I said, these narcissists, they're going to test you by not texting you back right away and see, you know, if you stick around, they're going to test you by, you know, th what they do. Okay. And I'm going to give you an example too, with the dating apps, what all these narcissists do is boom, you have one little conversation with them, a couple of texts here or there, and boom, the next thing they do is, here's my number, here's my number. This is all part of the player's handbook, guys, all right, and women. This is what they do. They put the ball in your court so that they want you to call them. So this is how they flip the script so that you've got to reach out to them and this is how they test you to see how thirsty you are. So, you know, anybody who does that right off the bat, and this is exactly what narcissists do. They want to get you off that app. They want to get you off that app. They want to be texting. And then the next thing is they want to meet you right away. They don't give a shit who you are. They don't want to know too many details about you unless they're after your money. And all they want to do is move fast with it and love bomb and move fast with it. And this is how they test you. When they move fast, they see if you move fast with them. When you move fast with them, 
Now they're saying that you are naive. You look how, look at this thirsty person. Look at this thirsty woman or thirsty guy. Look how fast they're moving with me. They, 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 they're calling me and I, we, have, we haven't even had one conversation on, on the app and they're calling me and you know, they're going to meet me. They know nothing about me. So that right there says desperate, desperate, desperate. You're not screening somebody. You don't care who they are or they figure, you know, uh, you know, you're lusting after them so much that you, you know, you put your, your values to the side about finding out who they are just because they look good. You're basing them on how they look good. Okay. And what a lot of these narcs do like from the dating apps, is they will send you pictures right away, pictures of them in the gym, pitch, pitch, videos of them working out. And they remember this, when they're sending you that video right off the bat, they're sending 15 other women or 15 other men, if it's the other way, that video. And what is that for? to test you to see how thirsty you are for them, how much you're going to be like, oh my God, you're so hot. Oh, oh, you know, they want to see how much, how hungry you are for them. So they may send that video out to 10, 15, 20 people. Okay. They're hitting everybody up on the app. All right. Hitting everybody up on the app. But the key is, you guys, if they don't ask you any personal questions about yourself other than do you have kids and what do you do for a living, you're lucky today if they even ask those things. They don't even bother asking those things anymore. They just boom, oh, you know, you're so pretty. Hey, beautiful. Hey, handsome. Hey, here's my number. And then you're supposed to call, hey, you know, I, I'm, I could be there in tomorrow. How about this? Meanwhile, you don't know a fucking thing about this person. They have a, could have a criminal record. They could show up and rob you. Okay, so don't be a sucker, you guys. You got a lot of criminals on these apps. You got a lot of pedophiles. Don't bring them around your children or by your house or something. Never bring them to your house because then they know where you live and they could show up at any time and you don't know who the fuck this person is. So don't be stupid. And I have to say this because a lot of people do this. They take a chance. They meet these strangers off an app. They don't know one thing fucking thing about them and that right away would you like to come over we could cook dinner and watch a movie you don't know what that person could do to you they could tie you up they could rape you they could kill you they could rape your kids they could rob you okay just because they're nice and they look good on an app come on you guys you got to be smarter than that you got to read what goes on in the news or on 48 hours, these crime stories and things that happen to people. I have to bring this up, but this is the point. This is how narcissists will test you because, you know, a naive person would do something like that. A naive or stupid person would invite somebody over to their house when they know nothing about that person. Okay. Just because that person was very nice to them, okay? And they like, it was more they were lusting. They were lusting the narcissist. So you were more concerned with the flesh and the outside of that person than who that person is, okay? So you got to be more careful because like I said, they're going to be testing you. They also want to see your reaction, you know, when they, you know, like I said, when they disappear or um, when they cancel all the time too, okay? A lot of times narcissists will cancel on you all the time because they're juggling all these other supplies and options. Because I had a woman or a couple of them ask this because she said, oh, every time, every week he's canceling on her. Last minute, every week he's canceling. If he's canceling on you last minute, now everybody got on the post and they said, oh, he's trying to control you and everything like that. Part of it could be control, but most likely his other supply came through and that's why he canceled on you. And especially if it was last minute, he canceled on you because something else better came along. You are not the first one on the pecking list. So that's why he keeps canceling. You're the backup plan, okay? And narcissists always have a backup plan. A narcissist is never going to get stuck on a weekend sitting home by themselves. They got a couple of different options rolling around. They're networking. They're, 
reaching out to different people. And the best one, their favorite one, is the one that they're going to make plans with. And the other ones, they're either going to cancel on them or they're going to come up with excuses. You know, oh, I had to go to the ER. I, my, I broke my ankle or I hurt my ankle or my mother's in the hospital or my cousin. They love to use funerals. Oh, my cousin died last week. Okay. So understand this, you guys. This is all game, 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 game. All right. The bottom line is you live according to your rules. You know, if somebody is giving you a lot of excuses, if somebody is not respecting your time, not doing what they say, you don't deal with them. Get rid of them, okay? You're not even married to them. So why are you going to put up with that when you're dating somebody? Because when you get married to them, you can never rely on them. And that's one thing that you have to know about a narcissist. You'll never be able to rely on them because they're all over the fucking place, dealing with all these different people, even whether it's supply or not, they're all over the place and they're not focused in on you. They're focused in on their supply, money, sex, whether, you know, a come up or something like that, or praise, or just having all these people praise them, or be an inbox on social media. They're so busy. This is what narcissists do all day. They waste their time networking with all this different supply because they need that ego fed. They can't be alone, okay? But they will test you. And, you know, the more that you show that narcissist attention, the more desperate they're going to think you are, okay? If you keep calling that narcissist because they didn't call you back, you look desperate. Don't do that shit, all right? I mean, if if they cancel on you, if they do it a second time, they are RIP, okay? Unless you know for a fact that something serious happened, all right? But if they keep giving you excuses and they're not making you a priority, Why are you going to even deal with somebody like that? And this is why your cutoff game's got to be fierce. Go listen to my podcast on this. It's one of my older podcasts, okay? Because this is how you save yourself from getting into a bad narcissistic relationship with somebody who jerks you around, shows you a little bit of attention, and you're like, you know, like a lap dog. <laughs> he said he loved me. Meanwhile, he, he ghosts you for two days because he's with somebody else. But then after he cheats on you, what does he do? He comes back the next day and he tells you, oh, I need a time for myself, but I love you. I've been thinking about you. And what do you do? You believe that shit. Okay. Don't be a sucker. You guys. All right. That's all game, game, game. Listen to me when I tell you this, and I'm going to say this again and again till it gets through everybody's head. I don't give a fuck what comes out of their mouth, okay? Words mean shit, and especially when it comes from a narcissist. Anything they say means shit, all right? So it's what they show you. Are they following through? Are they consistent with it? Are they progressing in the relationship? Are they respecting you, how they talk to you, when they contact you? You know, they test you too because they'll be in a back and forth texting conversation and then they'll just drop off on you and stop texting. And this happens all the time. And it happens a lot on the dating apps. If you're having a conversation with somebody and you're back and forth texting them for like, you know, a half hour or longer, and this person just drops off in the middle of the conversation and doesn't come back within the hour to apologize. Like, you know, oh, my dog, my dog came in, I had to let my dog out or I had to do something with my kid. You know, this person doesn't give a shit about you that somebody else might probably hit them up and they drop the conversation with you to start talking to somebody else. Because I want you guys to think about it like this. It's all about respect. They've got to respect you, respect their time. Say, ask yourself, would they do that to their boss? No, they wouldn't, okay? Because their boss won't put up with that shit and they'll get fired if they don't, you know, if if they drop them in the middle of a conversation or something. So they're pretty much telling you that you're not that important. And when you just pick up that conversation with them down the road, like, five hours later, when you make like it's nothing, you're allowing that as if to say, you know what, you could just drop, 
the conversation anytime. You've got to teach people how to treat you. So when somebody does something like that, you should say something to them like, you know, we were in the middle of a conversation and you just stopped texting. You know, I really don't appreciate that. If you had something to do, I would appreciate if you could have let me know that, you know, and that's your way of letting them know, okay, that they don't do something like that to you. And if they do it again, block, delete, because they they don't respect you, okay? And this is what I mean, and this is how they test you. So I hope that helps you guys. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button and please share the podcast. Have a great day. If you guys are having a problem in your dating or relationship or you're dealing with somebody maybe that's narcissistic, you don't know if they're a narcissist or you're just having problems, you're in a toxic relationship and you need some clarity on it, go to the link in the podcast description for my website where I offer email and phone coaching. If you have a quick question, just a quick question and you want to get a video sent back to you answering your question, there's also a link there for Vizio, where I will send you a personalized video answering your question. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that The Game Exposed now has their merchandise available. Check out the link in the bio and you could go check it out. There's cool hoodies, cool sweatpants, cool hats. So go to the bio for the link. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at the game exp123 and also on Instagram the game exp123 okay and have a great day